In this video, we'll be solving another problem based on uniform circular motion. So here is the problem which reads, a racing car moving at a constant tangential speed of 110 meters per second on a circular track takes one lap around the track in 35 seconds. Determine the radius of the track. So here we have a racing car which takes one lap around a circular path in 35 seconds with a speed of 110 meters per second. Now here the uh, speed that is a constant speed with which the car is moving is referred to as the tangential speed since that speed is along the tangential direction. We have already studied that the direction of uh, the velocity or the speed of a body which is moving in a uniform circular motion is along the tangent. So that is why it is referred to as the tangential speed sometimes. So here the uh, velocity is given to be 110 meters per second and the time that the car takes to uh, for one lap is 35 seconds. So we see that both of these things that is the velocity and the time are in SI units. So we do not need to convert them to SI. So we can uh, very well go ahead and solve the problem. So the velocity of a moving body in a circular track is given to be the circumference divided by the time taken, which equals 2 pi r divided by t because circumference is given by 2 pi r. Now here we need to find what is the radius of the circular track. We already have what is the velocity. We, we know the time but we do not know what is the radius of the circular track. And since we do not know only one thing in this whole expression, we can find out the radius that is the unknown using the uh, values that we are provided with. So let us go ahead and substitute the values of velocity and time in this expression. Here we have 110 meters per second equals 2 multiplied by pi which is 22 by 7 multiplied by r which is the radius that is the unknown quantity divided by the time which is 35 seconds. Now in order to evaluate what is the radius we need to take all the other things to the other side. So on doing that we have r equals 35 multiplied by 110 multiplied by 7 divided by 2 multiplied by 22 and on evaluating this whole expression we get the answer to be radius equals 612.5 meters. So the uh, radius of the circular track in which the racing car was moving is found out to be 612.5 meters. So with this, we have come to the end of this video and I hope the solution of the problem was understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.